today I'm going to show you how to load a Minolta SRT200 SLR camera. This was one that was made in the 1970s and it's pretty similar and it's very similar to a lot of other Minolta cameras. So if you have anything else, whether that's in the 200, 300, anything else in the SRT range, it's going to be pretty similar. To begin, all you simply need to do is to open the back. The first step in there is to reach over here, which is the film winder. We don't need to worry about winding quite yet and simply take this whole knob and pull it up and then pull it up just a little bit more and I'll open the back. I'm gonna over try it down just like so. And you can see it here. I'm gonna pull this just a little bit more and let's go and pop. So now that door is open. This is very simple at this point. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this roll of film here I'm going to reach over and we're going to put it into the uh, take up area over here first. I always begin with that because then you're going to you're going to waste as minimal film as possible. From there, I'm just going to pull back all the way over here until it fits down into that same area and simply drop and push that 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 winder back in there. Now, all I want to do is I'm going to do a little bit of twisting on this side just to make sure things are moving correctly. That looks like it is just like so. And now I would simply close the back and ready to go. It'd probably take about one frame over and I would be ready to start taking pictures. I like to minimize that so I can get as many frames as I possibly can. When you get to the very end of the roll and you're able to move this and the camera stops working, there's one important step before you begin rolling it. The very first roll of film that I used with this, I didn't know about the step and I ended up breaking it. So don't do that. So when it gets to the end, there's a button here on the bottom right here, right next to the battery door for the light meter. All you have to do is simply push this button and that releases the tension on the winder. And then you're able to go over here, flip the store up and begin winding. You shouldn't need to hold that down because that door, that button should remain engaged all the way until you open the door again here. And all you would do at this point is just twist this in the direction that the arrow is going and that will begin winding the film. When you get to the end and you can feel that nothing is happening, you then can just simply open it up and take it out. I'm now doing the winding here with the door open so I can kind of show what I'm talking about. Uh, the button on here on the bottom is still engaged so that there is no tension here on the winding side. But with time, as you're winding this, you can kind of feel right as it begins to get that tension and right as it starts to build up and then release and pop. And you can feel that even with the door closed. If you're self-developing, that's a really nice feature because that will allow you then to roll up this film, maybe not quite all the way, just to make sure that it's nice and easy for when you're actually loading it into your developing tanks. That said, it's not an enormous deal, and so you can always just keep twisting that thing because it's better to twist it too much than not enough. So when it out, just keep spinning this knob forever, and then when you open up, all your film should be loaded right back here into that cassette, and you would be able to then load up your next one. I hope that was helpful and enjoy using this great camera.